The most basic parts of the human machine are cells, an amazing 100 trillion of them by the time the average person reaches adulthood. Cells are the basic units of structure and function in the human body, and they are in all living things. Each cell carries out the basic life processes that allows the body to survive. Each type of cell plays a specific role. For example, nerve cells have long projections that help them carry electrical messages to other cells. Muscle cells have many mitochondria that provide the energy they need to move the body. My name is Selena, and in this lesson, you are going to cover the cell, its structures, and mitosis. Cells are the body's smallest functional units. They are grouped together to form tissues, each of which has a specialized function, like muscles, bones, and blood. Tissues form organs. Organs are grouped together to form systems. A cell consists of a plasma membrane enclosing a number of organelles suspended in the cytoplasm. The cell membrane, also called the plasma membrane, is found in all cells and separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment. The cell membrane consists of a lipid bilayer that is semi-permeable. The cell membrane regulates the transport of materials entering and exiting the cell, controls passage of substance into and out of the cell, regulating the intercellular environment. Some of the substance can cross the membrane, but others are blocked. Keeps the organelles and cytoplasm within the cell and contains of two layers of lipids with proteins and sugars embedded in them. Diffusion is the movement of particles down their gradient. A gradient is any imbalance in concentration. And moving down a gradient just means that the particles is trying to be evenly distributed everywhere like dropping food colouring in water. This is what happens when you make your granola. A bunch of separate ingredients come together and spread out across the whole mixture. We call this evening out moving downhill and it doesn't require energy. The molecules most likely to be involved in simple diffusion is water. It can easily pass through cell membranes. When water undergoes simple diffusion, it is known as osmosis. Osmosis equalizes the pressure on both sides of the membrane. Dissolutions fatty substances dissolve into the lipid parts of the membrane. They're too big to go through. Transport across the cell membrane is a tightly regulated process because cell function is highly dependent and maintains strict concentrations of various molecules. When a molecule moves down its concentration gradient, it is participating in passive transport. Moving up the concentration gradient requires energy, making it active transport. Some molecules, such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, can diffuse across the plasma membrane directly but others need help to cross its hydrophobic core. It facilitates diffusion. Molecules diffuse across the plasma membrane, which assists from membrane proteins, such as channels and carriers. Filtration is the movement of water, and its dissolved substance in it is caused by the differences in pressure. A nuclear membrane is a double membrane that encloses the cell nucleus. It serves to separate the chromosomes from the rest of the cell. It includes an array of small holes or pores that permit the passage of certain materials, such as nucleic acid proteins between the nucleus and cytoplasm. The nucleus controls and regulates the activities of cells, like growth and metabolism and carries the gene structures that contain the inheritory information. Nuclei are small bodies often seen within the nucleus. The gel-like matrix in which the nuclear components are suspended in the nucleoplasm. 
The cytoplasm is responsible for holding the components of the cell and protects them from damage. It stores the molecules required for cellular processes and is also responsible for giving the cell its shape. It has a gel-like liquid inside the cell but outside the nucleus, composed of water, salts and various organic molecules. A Golgi body, also known as a Golgi apparatus, is a cell organelle that helps processes and package proteins and lipid molecules, especially proteins destined to be exported from the cell. It consists of sacs of closely folded, flattened membranous sacs, forms a communication of network from deeper in the cell to its membrane. It ships packages around the cells, proteins are carried to the Goldie in vesicles. The Goldie receives an incoming vesicle, tags it and sends it to its final destination. Mitochondria, known as the powerhouses of the cell, produces the energy necessary for cell survival and functioning. Through a series of chemical reactions, mitochondria breaks down glucose into an energy molecule known as ATP, which is used to fuel various other cellular processes. A liposome is a membrane-bound cell organelle that contains digestive enzymes. Liposomes are involved with various cell processes. They break down excess or worn out cell parts. They may be used to destroy invading viruses and bacteria. They contain a variety of enzymes involved in breaking down fragments of organelles and large molecules inside cells into smaller particles that are recycled or exported from the cell as waste material. A vacuole is a small structure found in animal, plant, bacteria and fungi cells. It's one of the largest organelles found in cells and it's shaped like a large sac. Vacuoles have a simple structure. They are surrounded by a thin membrane and filled with fluid and any molecules they take in. The main function of vacuoles is to hold various substances and molecules. They basically act like the storage unit of the cell. They contain waste and materials or secretions formed by the cytoplasm and they are used to storage or digestion purposes in different kinds of cells. Endoplasm reticulum, EOR is an extensive series of interconnecting membranous canals in the cytoplasm. There are two types, smooth EOR and rough EOR. Smooth EOR is associated with the production of metabolism of fats and steroid hormones. It is smooth because it is not studded with ribosomes and is associated with smooth, slippery fats. The rough EOR is involved in some protein production, protein folding, quality control and dispatch. It is called rough because it is studded with ribosomes. Ribosomes are minute particles consisting of RNA, ribonucleoprotein particles, and associated proteins that function to synthesize proteins. Proteins are needed for many cellular functions such as repairing damage or detecting chemical processes. Can be found floating within the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplastic reticulum. The ribosomes reads the DNA strands instructions to make proteins for the cell and is used for growth and repair of the cell. Centrioles are paired barrel shaped organelles located in the cytoplasm of animal cells near the nuclear envelope. Centrioles play a role in organising microtubules that serve as the cell's skeletal system. They help determine the locations of the nucleus and other organelles within the cell. They play an important role in cell reproduction in mitosis. A structure containing two centrioles is called centrosome. 
The unique structure of chromosomes keep DNA tightly wrapped around spoon-like proteins called histones. Without such packaging, DNA molecules would be too long to fit inside cells. They carry the basic genetic material, DNA, which is responsible to provide hereditary characteristics and genetic information to various cells. The cellular functions are important for the growth and survival of living organisms. DNA is organised into functional units called genes, which control cell activities and inheritance. Human cells contain 46 chromosomes, 23 from each parent. Histology is the study of the microanatomy of cells, tissues and organs as seen through a microscope. It examines the correlation between structure and function. Histology Guide teaches the visual art of recognising the structure of cells and tissues and understanding how this is determined by their function. Mitosis is a process where a single cell divides into two identical daughter cells, also known as cell division. During mitosis, one cell divides once to form two identical cells. The major purpose of mitosis is for growth and to replace worn out cells. It's a process of cell duplication in which one cell divides into two genetically identical daughter cells. The process involves four distinct stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Prophase is the first phase of mitosis. The process that separates the duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of a parent cell into two identical daughter cells. During prophase, the complex of DNA and proteins contained in the nucleus, known as chromatin, condenses. The centrosomes divide into two centrioles that move away from each other but are still joined by threads. Chromatin becomes tightly coiled forming chromosomes and the nucleolus disappears. During metaphase, the cell's chromosomes align themselves in the middle of the cell through a type of cellular tug of war. The chromosomes, which have been replicated and remain joined at a central point called a centromere, are called sister chromatids. The nucleus membrane disappears. The chromosomes arrange themselves in the centre of the cell, each attached to the spindle by the centromere. By the end of the metaphase, two chromatids start to pull apart. Anaphase is the stage of mitosis after the process of metaphase. When replicated, chromosomes are split and the newly copied chromosomes, the daughter chromatids, are moved to opposite poles of the cell. Pairs of chromatids divide into two identical halves of the pairs and move away from each other. At the end of anaphase, the spinal threads of the centrioles divide to form new centromeres. The cell membrane begins to constrict in the centre. Telophase is the fifth and final phase of mitosis. The process that separates the duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of a parent cell into two identical daughter cells. Telophase begins once the replicated parent's chromosomes have been separated and pulled to the opposite sides or poles of the cell. A new nucleus membrane appears around each of the chromosomes. A spindle fibre disintegrates and the centrioles replicate. A cell membrane continues to constrict until two cells are formed. These two daughter cells will be identically copies of the original parent cell, and the whole process continues throughout life. Interphase is the phase of cell cycle in which a typical cell spends most of its life. It's the daily living or metabolical phase of the cell in which the cell obtains nutrients and metabolizes them, grows, replicates DNA in preparation for mitosis and conducts other normal cell function. 
is an interval in the cell cycle between two cell divisions. The cell carries out its normal metabolic activities and cell increases in size. Let's review. When one studies the cell, each one is surrounded by a fragile plasma membrane that separates the cell and its contents from the surrounding. Each cell has a photoplasm, which is a combination of cytoplasm and the nucleus. The cytoplasm consists of cytosol and the organelles. The cell membrane acts as a fencing material. Every day, every hour, every second, one of the most important events in life is going on in your body. Cells are dividing. When cells divide, they make new cells. A single cell divides to make two cells, and these two cells then divide to make four cells, and so on. We call this process cell division and cell reproduction, because new cells are formed when old cells divide. The ability of cells to divide is unique for living organisms. Cells divide for many reasons. For example, when you skin your knee, cells divide to replace old, dead or damaged cells. Cells also divide so living things can grow. When organisms grow, it isn't because cells are getting larger. Organisms grow because cells are dividing to produce more and more cells. In human bodies, nearly 2 trillion cells divide every day. I hope you have found this lesson informative and now feel that you have a greater understanding of the cell and its structures. Thank you for listening.